I tried to record this when in front of the actual face-to-face -face class. They didn't behave very well, so I'm going to re-record it right now. This is for the uh, online course. And this is just a review for your test that you're going to need to take after this review. So upon completion of this review, you then need to find me to take your test, okay? So let's start the, uh, the review here. Metallurgy, metallurgy test number one review, how to make steel. Typically what I do is, in a face-to-face -face course, I give them these little remotes, which I have right here, and they answer the questions as they you know, go up on the board. Uh, because there's no class in front of me, I'm just going to do it myself, and I'll click through this. It shouldn't be any different. I mean, it's always better with uh, students to be around and engage with, but um, I'm going to be the only person clicking, so it's going to be only one person that's going to probably get 100 on the test, I'm guessing. So we'll start here. Which term is defined as the science and study of the behaviors and properties of metals and their extractions from their ores? As you click this, it gives you 10 seconds to answer. All right. Extractive metallurgy, metallurgy, ore dressing, or gangu. See right down there. Oh, I didn't get in it in time, so nobody answered. But the answer is metallurgy. All right. Next slide. What ore contains the most iron? Magnetite, hematite, limonite, gothite, siderite, or taconite? And I got my response in. One hundred percent of you got it correct. Magnetite has the most ore. I just realized this puts a lot of pressure on me because if they get one wrong, you're going to know I, I didn't know the answer. Magnetite. Which ore has the least amount of iron in it? Magnetite, hematite, limonite, gothite, siderite, or taconite. If you picked F, you were 100% accurate. Taconite. They'll call it taco knife, but I guess it's taco knife. There's a smiley face answer indicator for you. What term is defined as taking out the worthless rock from the ore? Metallurgy, ore dressing, gangu, killed steel, or rimmed steel? I think I know the answer. Ore dressing, right? Taking out the worthless rock from the ore. Which is not a way ore dressing is done. Flotation, agglomeration, magnetic separation, or filtering. D. Filtering is not a way. It is done through flotation, agglomeration, magnetic separation. That's how ore dressing is done. Which is not one of the three main ingredients when making steel. Iron ore, coke, aluminum oxide, or limestone. Aluminum oxide is not one of the three main materials. The three main ingredients in making steel are iron ore, coke, which is basically pure carbon, and limestone. What is ore turned into when it goes through a blast furnace? Pig iron, spudge iron, wrought iron, or iron ore? Correct answer is pig iron is what comes out of a blast furnace. What is the product called when small pellets of sponge are created containing 95% iron? Pig iron, sponge iron, wrought iron, or iron ore? If you 
Joe, is sponge iron, you are 100% correct. It is sponge iron. It contains 95% iron and some small pellets of sponge. It was in the question, right? So hopefully you didn't miss that one. But how many tons of iron are going to making of one ton of iron? Half a ton, one ton, one and a half tons, two tons, two and a half tons, three tons. I almost didn't get it in there. Whoops. It was two tons was the correct answer. It didn't actually bring up the correct answer indicator, but it's two tons going to making one ton. That's your iron ore. How many tons of coke going into making one ton of iron? I actually almost don't remember this. There it is. Half ton, one ton, one and a half tons, two tons, two and a half tons, three tons. What do you think? One ton of coke going to making one ton of iron. How many tons of limestone going to making one ton of iron? Half ton, one ton, one and a half tons, two tons, two and a half tons, or three tons. Polling is open. Never mind, it's closed. One half a ton. What is iron that contains little or no carbon called? Pig iron, sponge iron, wrought iron, iron ore. percent accurate if you chose wrought iron. What process was wrought iron made made by in early steel making years? Magnetic separation, direct reduction, ovens, furnace? What do you know? True story, direct reduction, right? They would just beat it with a hammer. Heat it up, beat it, heat it up, beat it. What is the commercially worthless mineral matter associated with economically valuable metallic minerals in a deposit called? Pasty sponge iron, iron ore, siderite, or gang goo. are 100% accurate if you chose Gang Goo. And there's our star answer indicator. Which oven is limited to pig iron? The Bessemer, the basic oxygen, open earth, and electric. The Bessemer is which oven comprises 35% of USA steel production? Bessemer, basic oxygen, open earth, electric. Polling is closed. If you answered electric, you are 100% accurate. It produces 35% of the United States steel production. Which oven is now obsolete? The Bessemer, the basic oxygen, open earth, or electric? It just got tired, I don't know why. Bessemer is now obsolete, Bessemer process. Which is the modern development of the Bessemer? Bessemer, basic oxygen, Open hearth or electric? Basic oxygen is the modern development of the Bessemer. Which oven produces between 100 and 375 tons of steel per heat? Ugh. All right, sorry, I'm tired. Vesper, basic oxygen, open earth, or electric? You're 
100 accurate if you chose open hearth and we have a smiling answer indicator to tell you that you are accurate which is steel that has been sufficiently deoxidized rimmed and or killed Like I said, the way I always remember this is it killed the oxygen. It's killed. It's deoxidized. A little morbid, I guess, but that's how I remember it. Which steel has not been sufficiently deoxidized, rimmed, or killed by a process of elimination? I'm going to take a wild guess and say that it's probably going to be rimmed steel, right? Correct, if you picked rimmed. What is a large block of metal that is usually cast in a metal mold and forms the basic material for further rolling and processing call? Is it a slab, an ingot, a brick, or a cylinder? Hundred percent accurate if you picked ingot. All right. That is the end of the review and the slideshow. So now online people, you gotta come find me and take your test, and then we're gonna get into some new material directly after that, and we'll continue on this way. Hopefully, this gives you a good idea of how this course is gonna go and get you in the flow of things. All right. So we're out of here.